Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, it is school vacation week. Almost everyone I know is away on vacation. Not anyway. me. And, oh, right, I know, except all three of us. All right. So that certainly means that a lot of people are flying, but safety concerns are really being felt across the nation as a number of recent incidents have been made public. Just this week, we all heard about this. The First Lady's plane came within just three miles of a massive cargo plane. And Recently, nine air traffic controllers were suspended, five of them, for sleeping on the job. And then in a separate incident, another air traffic controller was suspended for watching a movie instead of monitoring the air traffic. Not to mention a scene from a Southwest flight when the fuselage ruptured, leaving a gaping hole in the ceiling. That would have scared the you-know-what out of me, forced an emergency landing. Well, we spoke with some passengers at Tea of Green to see how they feel about flying now. I just think about the, air, the controllers that are falling asleep is really seems to be crazy to me. I'm surprised. Sometimes I'm shocked and, and I, I just hope it doesn't affect the flight I'm on. I think that's an, that's an issue that certainly needs to be addressed and you know the proper safety protocols need to be taken for something like the ceiling ripping off of a plane. If you worry about it right you'll nobody will ever fly so it's something you got to kind of put out of your mind I think. The FAA says they are now beefing up staff in the air traffic control towers and they're also doing a widespread review. I, well, let's take a quick vote here. I mean, who, other than these incidents, are, are you scared to fly in general? No. No. Really? Not at all? No. Okay. It's, you're a lot safer in a plane than you are in a car. I know the statistics. I actually read them every time I fly to make myself feel better. Like, I go online and be like, what are my chances of perishing in a do plane you know what, versus a car? Do you know what I read every yeah. time I fly? What? The, the emergency booklet. You do? Just because I'm like, you know what? I, I feel like I know it, you know, mm -hmm. bug your seatbelt, do this, and the oxygen tank yeah, yeah. mask will hang from the ceiling or whatever. But I'm like, you know what? I, I just always like a little refresher. I'm like, God forbid. I just want to be sure. I know what I'm doing. I can, tell, just, go ahead. I can tell you right now, if, if I could wipe the image of 9-11 out of my mind, I would be okay to fly. Yeah, but that has no, nothing to do with I, flying safety. I mean, It I, doesn't, but it's... But a lot of fear like still comes from, like... Mechanically. But this, this air traffic control stuff honestly does not scare me as much as... Thinking that of a tragedy like that. No, honestly, it's someone, for me, it's someone whole, who is telling you like how close you are to another plane falling asleep. That doesn't. <laughs> well, I mean, it certainly concerns me, but I'm telling you, the fear of flying that I think a lot of people have doesn't necessarily come from worrying about an air traffic controller. It's oh, the no, fear I'm of sure. the plane falling out of the sky, mm -hmm. you know, because of a malfunction, well, not because be, of somebody's asleep yeah, at the well, wheel. Let's be honest. You know? When you're flying at 35,000 yeah. feet in a silver tube hurtling across the sky, yeah. it, it does seem a little odd. You're like, yeah. it's like, how does right. a cruise ship float? Right. And how does a plane stay in the air? You know, yep. it's like. But there's just some things you just don't think about. You just assume they're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but you know, you talk about like you use the 9/11 images you see over and over again. How about all the car accidents we read about on the news every morning? Yeah, but see, that numbs me because it happens every day. Plane crashes right. don't happen every day. Well, that's my day. point. Is that yeah. you know. Thousands and tens of thousands of planes take off and land every day. We don't report right. on every successful <laughs> landing and takeoff. Right. But we, you know, you hear about the one every, you know, God forbid, once a year or whatever, mm -hmm. or however long that goes, that doesn't work. So out. then, you know, one of the things that we, you know, we talk about obviously in the media a lot of times we're highlighting the bad things. You know, we're not going to yeah. talk about all the air traffic control officers that have done a great job for 20 sure. years. You know, but do you, I mean, do you really think that flying is unsafe? No. No. No, and I think especially, you know, bringing up the 9-11 the issue, mm -hmm. they've really cracked down on everything. Oh, yeah. Even just in terms of, you know, you're walking through security. Remove your shoes, remove your socks. Right. Just you do feel pretty a little much bit safer, for sure. Pretty much down, and now we're going to metal detect you, and yeah. everything. Yeah, I think Hold the, on. the bad guys are done with the planes. I don't think you have to worry about that yeah. anymore. You know? All right, well, uh, thank hopefully. you. I feel better now. Okay. We'll I'm going to go book a flight right now. <laughs> All right, Courtney, what are people saying about this uh, online today? You know, they're sharing their thoughts about whether or not they're scared to fly, and, and I agree with them. It's something I always think about, but I don't let it stop me. I just kind of distract myself with books and DVDs, so it, it does stay in the back of our heads. Let's take a look at the blog right here on foxprovidence.com. Jean says, I very rarely fly anymore, but I think the need to find a way to stimulate the controllers during slow times. They should never be alone in the tower, even if the airport is small. JB says, I have no problem flying, but you would think the lives of the flying public deserve 100% attention, no naps on the clock. And Flarney says, just more reasons for me to continue to hate flying. So here's our poll right underneath the live blog. Are you concerned about your safety while flying? A, yes, I won't fly because of the incidents. B, yes, the incidents make me more aware. Or C, no, I'm not more concerned than before. This buzz has generated uh, quite a few comments on our Facebook homepage today. Judith Young says statistics show there are more dangers on the road driving than in the air flying. And Donna Stanley says, I try not to think about it. We take risks every day. And Danny Coffey says, the chances of something happening on a plane, I would say, are slim. You are more at risk behind the wheel 
of your car. So it seems that it hasn't really frightened anybody to not travel, but if you are one of those people, join us on the live blog, vote in our poll, and we'll have those results at the end of the show.